Krishna Devi. Welcome to our another tutorial. Today you are watching a pivot table chart and dashboard in Excel 2016. In my previous lecture, you show pivot table, but today I am going to show you the advanced level pivot table where you can easily see P4 table with chart and dashboard and other scenarios we are going to build a new dashboard where we put all together don't worry it doesn't look complicated P4 table is very easy to use uh, don't require any complex formula or PBA macros just simple tag and drop this P4 table will save you lots of time here is source of data. Um, you start building a pivot table. It's a good idea to familiarize yourself with source data. Okay. Each row uh, data here contain information for a specific order. Uh, mm, here is a order date. Uh, so you can see we have the order date. Same some customer information here the salesman uh, region um, we got some shipping information as I scroll uh, over you also have some product information and some information about the price of product <coughs> and revenue quantity all the all the stuff so it's good information for you Okay, in your data sheet, especially make sure that there is no blank rows and column and no marks. Cell. Okay, now you go to insert tab, uh, wonder report, then click before table bottom. Okay that will bring up this create p for tables window and basically it's asking you to select table range uh, table or range okay you see excel can automatically detect the range for me and that's uh, because i had a cell selected inside the data set before i click to the p for table okay yeah i just use use new worksheet so I click OK button. Pause. Now you see, you will see that's automatically added a new shape to our workbook and create a preferred area. And also notice the right side of your preferred table. Uh, list has appeared, and this is basically the window we are going to use. Uh, create the paper table so there is all the list of data set here and down below the areas uh, that we can drag those fields into the create P4 table report now I can drag the search person into the rows area of the P4 table okay drop it there and you will notice now that the p4 table it's list ourselves wrap in the rows areas uh, of the p4 table so each rows contains uh, cells wrap name now i just drag revenue into the area of value in P4 table. Drop it there. Um, you will notice that exactly uh, uh, Excel has automatically calculated the sum of revenue for each wrap that's list in the rows area of the P4 table. Okay, so it is the real the power uh, in the magic of pivot table is automatically calculated 
the sum of revenue for each reps just automatically inserted as we draw field into the values area okay so probably the first thing you will notice that uh, these number are not formatted when we drag the revenue field into the value in it did not formatted those numbers so so we want to format those and the easiest way to do it we just right click uh, or any cell of the values area there there or then go to the value city okay okay value settings mm, num format that will bring up a new window for setting for the revenue number format button that will bring up the format cell dialog okay uh, i am just going to currency uh, no decimal here okay then click okay then okay okay oh our number are formatted I look a little nicer now we we'll just sorted it from largest to smallest so right click on data then go to sort and select uh, click on largest to smallest okay yeah mm. now we want to see this information uh, we want to see this information in a chart as well uh, so go to analyze okay and uh, here is lots of um, selection here so uh, an option tab or click before chart that will bring up this chart window and I am going to insert uh, bar chart then click okay so now we have automatically created a bar chart here now i can show you how we can clean this uh, uh because the default chart format out of the box is not it's kind of ugly honestly so we are going to clean this up okay I do is just hide all the fields on the bottom on uh, this field button LOE apply field okay but we don't really need that okay you will also notice that this uh, name here or in the opposite order Mm, of what they are here around the pivot table so we need to reverse the order of this so I am going to right click and uh, okay um, right click and go to the format access format access window and it looks a little different in 2000 Excel yeah I am going to check the box categories in reverse order categories in reverse order order of these categories here so they are matched what the page I am going to close okay 
I am going to get rid of this level here so I am just going to left click and select those and hit the delete option here on the keyboard I am going to get rid of the legend uh, so click that and delete on the keyboard I want to get rid of those vertical lines so I am going to left key on delete then I also want to add some level here so I in 2016 you can just click on this plus button and go to the data level okay that's will add our data level here now I change the title name here source graph